Hey, Josh Wingrove here from Pursue World. I uh, hope you're well. Today, I just wanted to talk to you about off the plan property. So should you buy an off the plan property or should you not? I thought I'd go through the pros and cons, but first, I just wanted to have a quick chat to you about firstly, why you're looking at buying property. So there's really two key reasons why you look at buying property. And then one is owner occupied. So it's kind of like a lifestyle asset you live in the property. And the other one is really about kind of an investment. So we're look, looking at trying to increase your wealth for, by, by buying property. So they're the two key reasons. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about that, but I'm gonna to talk to you about what is off the plan. So off the plan is when you're looking at a property that is not yet built. And this is pretty popular. Developers and builders look at selling off the plan, uh, generally because the banks will have um, prerequisites around how much property they need to sell before they can actually start building. So that's why it's pretty popular. So you're looking at buying something that's not yet built, hence why it's off the plan. So the pros really are that you'll have time before it settles. So you put down the deposit, you sign the contract, and then you've got plenty of time there really to save up, save up, save up. So then when you actually look at moving into the house, you're gonna have plenty of savings that shouldn't be as stressful. The next key thing is around, you're gonna be the first person to live in it. It's awesome. So nothing better than moving into like a really nice brand new place, and you're the only one who's ever lived in it. Um, and on that, quite often you can get the fixtures and fittings and select all these and select the right colors. So things that kind of match your suit your needs and what you really are after. Not always the case, but quite often it is. If you're looking at investment, depreciation is gonna be pretty good because it's brand new. Um, stamp duty concessions can be quite good as well. So um, quite often when you're buying that, you're only um, paying stamp duty based on the land value. So quite often if there's a number of units, the land value is gonna be a fair bit less. So it can be good. Sometimes it's not even worth doing because if you're a first home buyer, it's not really gonna make a huge difference. Now the cons. Quite often it's hard to know the quality of the build. So you might be able to have a look at the, um, a little display centre, but you don't know if you know, it's gonna be exactly the same with the same fittings, the same flooring, the same walls, etc. So that makes it pretty hard. It's often very delayed. So it can be months to, I've seen years of being delayed. So you just gotta be careful with that. If you're really keen to move in, it's gonna be hard with this. Um, the key issue that I always see is evaluation. So when you purchase it, you might be buying it for say 500,000. When you go to move in, you get a, the bank does a valuation and the valuation quite often can come back shorter than what it is, uh, than what you paid for. So you buy it for 500, the valuation might come in at 450. So then you've got a $50,000 gap you've got to make up. So with your own money or equity in other properties. So that's a key concern. Uh, one of the other ones is, you know, worst case if the builder goes under or the developer has any issues, it's going to leave your deposit. Don't say that all the time, but the valuation is kind of a key concern. So they're the pros and cons. Uh, you make your own decisions. If you've got any questions around off the plan properly, let me know. Thanks guys. Have a great day.